Today, we will talk about what is a confidence interval and how do you calculate it. A confidence interval is a range of values around a statistics mean that likely contains an unknown population parameter a certain proportion of times. For example, if a point estimate is 10.00 with a 95% confidence interval of 9.50 to 10.50, it means that there's a 95% probability the true value falls within that range. Confidence intervals measure the degree of uncertainty or certainty in a sampling method. They can take any number of probability limits, with the most common being a 95% or 99% confidence level. Statisticians use confidence intervals to measure uncertainty in an estimate of a population parameter based on a sample. Confidence intervals are calculated by establishing upper and lower bounds that contain the true mean a certain percentage of the time. For instance, a 95% confidence interval of 72 to 76 inches for high school basketball players means that in 95 of 100 samples evaluated, the mean should fall within that range. A confidence interval is a range of values that likely contains an unknown population parameter a certain proportion of times. The confidence level is the percentage of probability that the confidence interval would contain the true population parameter when you draw a random sample many times. Statisticians use confidence intervals to measure uncertainty in a sample variable. They help determine how a sample may represent the true value of a population variable. The resulting datasets are all different, some intervals include the true population parameter and others do not. The biggest misconception regarding confidence intervals is that they represent the percentage of data from a given sample that falls between the upper and lower bounds. In reality, a confidence interval displays the likelihood that the range will contain the population mean. Confidence intervals are conducted using statistical methods, such as a t-test, which is used to determine if there's a significant difference between the means of two groups, which may be related to certain features. Here are five key takeaways. 1. A confidence interval displays the probability that a parameter will fall between a pair of values around the mean. 2. Confidence intervals measure the degree of uncertainty or certainty in a sampling method. Three. They are also used in hypothesis testing and regression analysis. 4. Statisticians often use p-values in conjunction with confidence intervals to gauge statistical significance. 5. They are most often constructed using confidence levels of 95% or 99%. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.